Hello, everyone. I just want to show you a new application I've been playing with. It's called Clementine, and it's a music application. It seems like it could be a good alternative to iTunes, which is a program I've never really cared for. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Clementine application to help organize your music. So I've got the application open over here uh, on the left, and on the right, I've got just a finder window open so we can see what is happening to our files. Now I made a folder here called the Clementine Library, and I put a bunch of music in there. As you can see, it's just a bunch of MP3s, uh, different artists, they're all named differently. Some of them have the artist name and the track name, some of them have the album name, some of them have the years that it was made, uh, all different naming conventions. So what we can do is we can go over to the Clementine application. We'll go first go to our library and go to this tools drop down menu, configure the library. So we'll add a new folder because there's nothing in our library right now. So we'll click on the Clementine library folder. We'll hit choose and hit OK. And it's brought all that music in. Now it's organized it within the Clementine application automatically. It knows uh, which tracks belong to which artist and which albums within those artists. But uh, we can take this a step further and we can actually organize our actual files using the Clementine application. So if we click on the top artist and we hold shift and click on the bottom artist to highlight all of them, we can then right click, click organize files, and it brings up a dialog box that tells uh, gives us some options for how to organize the files. So right now, if we were to hit OK, what it would do is it would take each of the files and it would rename it so that it was the title of the track and the year, a dot, and then the extension, which is MP3. Now this isn't quite what I want, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to the insert and I'm going to say what I actually would like is for you to give me the artist name as a folder, so I'll put a slash, and then give me the album name as a subfolder. We'll put a slash. Uh, now I don't care about the year, so I'll delete that, the percentage sign year. The percentage sign just lets the program know that it's a variable that it's going to be putting in this place. It's not actually going to name it title. Uh, so what I would like is for the track number though, so we can go here to the track number and then the uh, title. And that looks pretty good to me. So we'll want to keep this delete original file so we don't have multiple copies. We can overwrite existing. That's fine. Then we'll hit OK. Now within the Clementine application, everything looks pretty much the same. But if we look over here in the finder window, what we'll see is that instead of one folder full of a bunch of MP3s, what we've got are a bunch of subfolders one subfolder for each of the artists, and then within those subfolders are uh, additional subfolders with the album names. And then after that, we've got the actual uh, tracks here that have all been renamed using the same naming convention. So this is pretty handy, this is pretty cool. Um, if you're looking for a way to organize your music, this could be a good way to do it.